The situation right now in the Middle East growing more frightening. U.S. officials now say Iran has more than 100 cruise missiles <coughs> and drones aimed at Israel. This as possible retaliation for the deaths of Iranian senior military officials in an Israeli airstrike last week in Syria. Meanwhile, Cardinal Timothy Dolan from New York is now in Israel. And the first thing he did when he arrived this morning at the airport was talk exclusively to Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einiger. Josh is in Jerusalem tonight. And Iran, Josh, very much on the front burner. Yeah, Bill, Cardinal Dolan arrives in a country that is uh, very much on edge as they wait to see what Iran does next. No one knows when this will happen, what will happen, or even if it will happen in Israel or against Israeli interests in another country as Iran threat accuses Israel of doing to it. But either way, President Biden today says it will happen soon. A day after this chilling speech from the Supreme Leader of Iran, President Biden told reporters he expects an Iranian strike on Israel, in his words, sooner than later. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel. And Iran will not succeed. The region is on high alert after Iran's warning which called the recent Israeli strike against its embassy in Syria the equivalent of attacking Iranian soil. But at the same time, Iranian officials reportedly indicated in back-channel communications with the U.S. its response to Israel would be proportional and wouldn't escalate the war. Either way, Israeli officials claim they're ready. We are prepared to defend ourselves, both on the ground and in the air. We are in close cooperation with neighbors and with our partners in order to prevent damage to Israel, and we will know how to respond. And into this region thick with unease, it is tense. Cardinal Timothy Dolan landed today on a mission for peace. He has a full schedule to support Catholic relief works in the region, but also plans to meet separately with the presidents of both Israel and the Palestinian Authority. So you got the extreme of Hamas who literally want, uh, are, are, want the extermination of Israel and, the, and, and Jewish people. There's one vicious extreme, okay? On the other hand, you got extremes that now want to get rid of uh, Palestinians. Both of those extremes we have to avoid, don't we? It's sort of like straddling the Jordan River. You know what, we're trying to, we're trying to bring some sense of peace and security. More than 30,000 Gazans have been killed by Israel's onslaught. Israel says about a third of them were Hamas combatants. <laughs> and the hostages. The hostages are still not home. And among many Israelis, the blame lies with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Today, dozens rallied in front of his residence in Jerusalem. Among them, Louis Frankenthaler, who grew up in New Jersey and moved here 30 years ago. I think uh, the vast majority of Israelis are no longer behind him. Even those who would be behind him politically think that he's uh, a colossal failure and that he doesn't care about what's going on. As for the threat from Iran, it is still unclear when or if it will happen. Uh, the State Department today ordered its employees here in Israel to stay close to the metro areas of Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, to stay close to areas populated less likely to be attacked as Israel goes to bed tonight and wonders what it will learn in the morning. And we're live in the old city of Jerusalem tonight. Josh Einiger, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, keep us posted and nice reporting tonight, Josh. A man of peace inside a war-torn area of the world. Stay with Eyewitness News for more of Josh's live reports from Israel. He's going to stay there for a while. You can also see him online or wherever you stream, ABC 7 and 1.